Class 5B, and my book is Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls. The people, the author is Elena Favilli and Francesca, Francesca Calvalli, 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 Cavallo. The book is about uh, Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls for inspiring children with a hundred heroic women from Elizabeth the first to Serena Williams. My dad, my dad chose this book because I really needed something to read, uh, to read for before I go to sleep. I got this book from Amazon, so you can go buy it there. This book has different short stories about girls around the world that have done amazing things. They never gave up, even though they had it diff had it difficult at times. I hope I become an amazing girl like them. Bye. Hi, my name is Amber from 5A, and this book is called Dreamers Who Can by Jerry Chris. So this page is about Kate, the main character, going to Disneyland with her friend. But her mom doesn't allow it because it was her great aunt's birthday. But this is what she says. No way, mom. This is my chance to go to Disneyland. And this is what she felt. Angry. But then, after she said that, she went up to her room and slept. And she dreamed about her great aunt. But then, her great aunt had to go somewhere that she couldn't go. So then, she woke up in tears and forgot Disneyland and its mountains of fun. And that's why I put this emoji. Because the sentence is, just as she had fallen asleep in tears, she awoke in tears, now totally forgetting Disneyland and its mountains of fun. And that's also why I put this text. So that's what this page is about. And I hope you can get to read this book soon. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome to Fun Facts. Today in Fun Facts, we're going to talk about food. The first fact is fruit salad trees exist. A multi-grafted tree was developed in Australia to grow up to six different types of fruit in one tree. Fact number two is that cashews grow on cashew apples. The third fact is that a single spaghetti noodle is called a spaghetto. The fourth fact is most wasabi is just horseradish that is dyed green. That is because real wasabi is expensive, hard to grow, and should be consumed 15 minutes after it's grated. The most expensive pizza in the world cost $12,000. That is because it takes 72 hours to make and it can only be made in your home by three Italian chefs. Thank you for joining us for this week's look at fun facts and I hope to see you all next week. <laughs>
poets say hello? Hey? H hey, haven't we met before? <laughs> Where did the Oreo, why did the Oreo go to the dentist? Because he lost his filling. <laughs> what do you get from a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. I hope you have an amazing week. See you next week. Samira and welcome to your weekly updates. Drama Club has been working hard for their upcoming uh, Zoom theater production uh, called The Help Desk and it'll be live streaming on Wednesday the 16th of December at 1.15 p.m. So be ready and bring, remember to bring some snacks. ATSL has partnered with Paragon uh, 1 to provide grade 9 and 12 uh, students with um, a unique opportunity to gain work experience uh, with global companies. And you can email Mr. Elliot or Ms. Nikisha for more information. Carnegie Mellon University Guitar is running an online game design and development competition from the 21st to 28th of December. There are separate categories for grades 5 to 8 and grades 9 to 12. There's going to be a Guitar National Day photo celebration uh, for Guitar National Day 2020 and all the photos will be displayed in the Maidan and you could submit your photo to the Power School Learning page and you need to include your name and your homeroom and it's due by December 12th by 8 p.m. and the ACS Robotics Club is every Sunday and Monday and email Mr. Angelo for more information. There's also an opportunity to uh, compete in USMA International Math Olympiad, which is um, and USMA is an international uh, middle high school uh, team, a school team competition. And last year, ACS uh, got first place with both teams. And if you're interested, you can email Mr. Hamid. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend.